Hi folks, my name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. Administering x-rays is often compared to photography because the equipment required for both disciplines is relatively similar. There is a camera, a subject, and a film that the image is stored on. That is generally the extent of the comparison according to most people. But in all reality, the two sciences are very similar in a number of other ways. Photography capitalizes on light to obtain images, whereas medical imaging utilizes x-rays. Both light and x-rays are part of the electromagnetic spectrum and therefore share characteristics. Both forms of energy have penetrating properties. They travel at the speed of light. Both interact with photographic film. That's right, the old darkroom photography techniques consist of the exact same technologies used in medical x-ray departments. In fact, it was not unheard of for photographers that used actual photographic film to process their image reels using x-ray wet processors. The equipment was virtually the same. Today, the technology is more advanced in both industries. Photography now has expanded into direct capture, bypassing film altogether, whereas x-rays have moved into the digital arena, but with the use of crystal phosphors. The technologies now are not as linear. However, many of the same companies that have thrived in the x-ray business have also excelled in photography. These are common household names in the United States and abroad. These companies include Fuji, Konica, Kodak, Samsung, Canon, and others. X-rays in photography require basic knowledge of the electromagnetic spectrum. When it comes to lighting, Photographers often use the inverse square law to determine the brightness of an image. And conversely, x-ray specialists use the same equation to calculate x-ray exposure levels. Both x-ray units and photographic cameras leverage functionalities such as apertures, automated exposures, timers, and control factors. The data receptors for both types of equipment also demonstrate similar functions like grayscales and brightness, algorithmic overlays, exposure data, and post-processing tools. In comparing these specialties, we must also include videography with x-ray fluoroscopy. Both of these applications involve motion picture video. Videography is very much a part of mainstream culture, providing footage for news outlets, motion picture films, television, and personal devices. And yet, in radiology, fluoroscopy is frequently used in surgery cases, pain medicine procedures, fluoroscopic procedures, genitourinary examinations, and more. So, not surprisingly, photography, videography, general x-ray and fluoroscopy are frequently cross-referenced. The science of capturing images is an ever-evolving work in progress. These fascinating industries are even looking to the same technological advances to improve their processes. This includes utilizing additional electromagnetic rays and waves, integrating artificial intelligence, 3D rendering, holographic modeling, and expanding phosphor applications. We here at the Radiology Coach are dedicated to providing insights into these exciting advancements in the industry. Our hope is to serve as an authority in the continual developments within the radiology spectrum. That concludes this segment on Is Photography Related to X-Ray Science? If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner, and I'm the Radiology Coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.